wrote a couple of papers about computer programmer liability uh, in the past. This is Mensa Bulletin, March 2002. It's a physical magazine. That's where I lived at the time, Pershing in Wichita. Now I live in uh, Joe Walter Villa Retirement Community in Heston, Kansas. Contents. The Odyssey Trial. Page eight. Page 8. The Odyssey Trial. Scientific Minson by Robert M. Beatty Jr., me. I had written and submitted it in 2001. It wasn't published until 2002, but I still own the copyright, so I can discuss it. Clark exonerated software corporation liable for astronauts' deaths. What does that mean? A mock trial based on 2001. A space odyssey. Student jurors in Wichita, Kansas set Arthur C. Clark free and found the fictitious giant software company liable for the deaths of the Discovery spacecraft astronauts from his home in Sri Lanka. Clark participated as programmer of the fictional computer HAL 9000. Um, upon hearing the news that he was free, the author, space pioneer, and former Minson said, Clark, what a relief, especially on the eve of my 84th birthday, December 16th. Well, I'm just going to be brief about this, but um, uh, Clark and I uh, knew each other and exchanged messages uh, since 1976 until his death. So I had a two-page article, and uh, by the way, none of these are valid. The address, I no longer have this email, ozal at aol.com. Uh, and um, so that was 2001, 2002. Um, let's see. I, since Clark's dead, I'm Arthur. Is uh, presume his email's not working, but maybe don't bug bug the people now. And of course, that email is no longer good. I no longer teach at Newman. Dear Bob, many thanks for your videotape and documentation. Before I throw myself on the mercy of the court. I'm about to consult my own lawyer here who is quite fascinated by the material. I'll be emailing you in a couple of days as there seems to be what a monster Manson is. He seems almost a match for anything the television. 7 November 2001. All right. Uh, this is a paper I wrote in law school, The Most Dangerous Game. When computer programming becomes an abnormally dangerous activity. That is in the law of torts. That's what I was writing about. Um, it was in Professor John Christensen's computer seminar, Law and Computer Seminar at Washburn. And I also submitted this. I don't think this exists anymore. The Bigelow Freed Computer Law Essay Contest. 
and this was uh, April 20th, 1993. Contents. So the uh, restatement second of torts. 519 and 20, strict liability, the elements, where there have already been errors in medical programming, aircraft, spacecraft, telephones, software. I was the... Um, First lawyer listed in the Wichita Yellow Pages as practicing computer law, 1994, the next year after I got out of that. Now, what's all uh, this about the course? Well, um, <clears throat> back in 95, this course got approved and I started teaching in 97, and this was a local Wichita Eagle article. Um, first uh, trial we did was uh, O.J. Simpson. And judges let me use uh, empty courtrooms, and my students went down there. We went through the, the whole schmear of civil and criminal and grand jury uh, exercises so they would understand. We would focus on more on, on one than the other, but they had to write papers <clears throat> about all seven aspects of being a juror. And it became in uh, 99, <laughs> Charles Manson uh, defended himself in part in uh, an exercise in my classroom. Of course, he did it by mail and phone. Uh, but both the New York Times Annual Education Supplement and uh, the Chronicle of Higher Education wrote articles about it. Um, so... Uh, Katie Curry, Katie Curry interviewed me on the Today Show, and I was interviewed by Court TV and so forth. So that led to quite a few interesting, at least I thought it was interesting. There was, we did Lee Harvey Oswald, we did um, uh, this computer law course with Arthur C. Clarke. Um, and in 2003, uh, we did BTK. And one of the things I taught in my course were the 15 valid forms of the standard categorical syllogism. And they have a traditional name, for example, Barbara, I made some changes to these names um, for reasons I won't go into right here, but uh, uh, then I, uh, in my book, pages 218, 219, Nightmare in Wichita, we discuss the actual police suspects that had been made known to me. Uh, and of course, there's suspect Barbara now. Suspect Bocardo and so forth. Using each of these were logical suspects. They complied with uh, the categorical syllogism uh, named. So uh, my students had to write about that. When in, in the, uh, the whatever exercise we were doing, 
the purpose, underlying purpose, was to show they could think logically about the evidence and the jury instructions. So, um, sometimes it, that proved to be very, very helpful. So there was, uh, I kept in touch with Clark. Of course, he, he uh, this is back in 2001. And then later, about other matters. This was the last one I could find from him. Um, Dear Bob, whenever I see your address, I recall the immortal line. I don't think we are in Kansas anymore. So, uh, we had kind of, you know, a guy, playful badinage. So, I've just invented a useful collective noun for lawyers, an infestation. Pass it on to your trade union with my compliments. All the best, Arthur. We knew each other long enough and well enough. It was before he was knighted when he became Sir Arthur C. Clark. He told me not to call him Sir. Call him Arthur. So, um, I, um, yeah, back uh, when I had a, a, a literary agent, I told him I had done all this, and he was not interested, not as nonfiction or as fiction. He said, nobody's being interested in this. Um, when I started actual legal practice, I was anticipating my work to be in tort, but it ended up being in contracts and remedies. Back in that era, the 90s, 80s and 90s. I'd worked for a law firm part-time for eight years before this, starting in 85. And um, then antitrust. Yeah, so I would practice, you know, tort, contracts, remedies, antitrust. And that was just related to computers. But... Um, I certainly found it all very fascinating, although now it's just history. And most people have uh, got good lawyers and they have people in the computer business and they have find a hard time getting sued. Can be done, can even win, but it's more difficult now, I think. Tort may yet come up. Licensing may come up. And I will talk about that more in depth in another, uh, another talk. May yet write about it.